Ah, this one shocked them. Oh, it shocked them again. Nigerian police. Mto. My people, we don't come again with another hot news. Oh, we know say this one happened yesterday, but you self, you no go even know the details. Now here, we go tell you how many died, and how the tech died. Mm hmm. When we they tell they made they know they go be a friend. They say na joko. And then what about them? When even self, if he be say na. The land, now I set them a bless. Me, I no know, no, but now our brother, now go tell us. Gas can he, wait till happen. Uh -huh. Next time, if they tell them go there, then go resign, then go run. Now, wait till we want. More, they await them for Biafra land. We they cause them every day, we they pray for our people every day, say, our land go protect us. God Almighty go protect us. Hmm. To come join these forces where we can't get now, we get guns. Hmm. Well, let them go and see what will happen to them. Listen Today's to date is 19th of September 2023, and I have a breaking news for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Be our friends and lovers of freedom, it don't happen again. Hey, this is my news. <laughs> this is my news. This is that kind of news that I always record with swag. This kind of news that always gives me the most joy that no one expects. This kind of news that whenever I'm recording it, I always like to make your day. If you are a lover of freedom, this is the kind of news that you want to hear today. I will read from Punch Odo. I have already gotten the whole information and the number of soldiers that were sent to judgment. I have the full information and I want you to enjoy it. But I will read from at least two Zoo Gotha media outlets. Let us see how they are reporting it so that when I come here to tell you 15 Zoo soldiers have been sent to judgment in Imo State by the phenomenal UGM, you don't say it's a propaganda or a lie so without further ado let us read in details first of all i will be reading from punch news nigeria and after that i will show you another zoo outlet that is also reporting this same news and i will tell you what really transpired so stay tuned while we move with speed breaking gunmen kill eight soldiers policemen in Imo State, look at the date, 19th September 2023, it's a breaking news, this is a breaking news. No fewer than eight security agents comprising soldiers, policemen and Nigerian security and civil defense corps have been killed by gunmen in Imo State. The incident which happened on Tuesday morning in Umualumako community, a human Bano local government area of the state, has thrown the area into panic. The Joint Security Task Force team, who were in two security trucks, were ambushed and set ablaze by their attackers. None of them survived, as they were burned inside their operational vehicles. None of them survived. This is something I want you to, you know, to go home with. At least for once, for once, Punch newspaper, a zoo outlet, a Fulani Janjaweed control media platform stated categorically clear for the first time in history. Although they did not get the number correctly, they didn't get the number correctly. I know that one. I know for sure. They said eight, but I'm talking about 15 here because I have the information now. For the first time, they said none of them survived as they were burned inside their operational vehicles. So, we are waiting for the report from the Janjaweed military <laughs> because you know they went to one camp for the other day. You know they did abracadabra and they came to Twitter. They said they have uh, you know uh, destroyed the camp of ESN, which is a typical lie. Typical lie. They can never amuba the far to enter into the camp of Eastern Security Network or Biafra Liberation Army. Amuba, they never give birth to them. 
I know where they went to. I know. I was aware of everything. To be honest, I know where they went to. And I know what happened there. So I don't want to talk about it. Now, this is the reality one. This one happened in real life. We want them to write about it. We want the zoo, Janjaweed, soldiers and police to, to, to tweet it. Let them write about it and talk about it on Twitter, just as they did the other day. Now, they said, a security operative who doesn't want to be mentioned told our correspondent that reinforcement teams had been sent to the scene of the crime with the intent to arrest the suspect and rescue the corpses of the slain security operatives. Not today. <laughs> medicine after death. Alugolo, alugolo. Medicine after death. And I want to use this medium to warn any Biafran man to warn any Igbo man, to warn any Calabari, to warn any Ijo, to warn any Ogoni, to warn any Urobo, any Biafra man at all or woman serving under the zoo security platform or whatever you call it. I don't care. Resign. The question is resign. The answer is resign. The outcome is resign. I have a story to tell you before I show you more news about this. A very good friend of mine, a very, very good friend of mine, sent me a message yesterday. And guess what? He said that he sent a DSS of official, a DSS personnel that he knows very well, that he knows very, very well that they communicate on a regular basis to go for an errand for him in Enugu state. I don't know the nature of the errand. I don't know the, the nature of the message, whether to go and arrest somebody or to go and do whatever. I don't know. But my interest there is that the DSS responded to him and said that he cannot go for that errand, citing the presence of the Eastern Security Network controlled by the Biafra Republic government in exile, which the Prime Minister is Mazi Simonekma. This very fr good friend of mine told me this. I was, <laughs> I say anyway, it's not a shock to me because what he said is real. It needs to be a baggy daughter. A tear girl queer, you will just wake up in another world and I just don't know what is going on. I'm telling you the truth. So when I'm telling now, Bamba now, Basim Bike now, we are fighting for our freedom, and this is the only way to fight for your freedom. You must get rid of the occupational soldiers in your land. Tinubu is not ruling Biafra from Abuja. Get that into your empty skull. That Biafra land is still under the zoo today is not because of Tinubu in Asorok. It's not because of Shetima Yarim or Shetima Kashima, whatever you call him, in Asorok. It's not because of uh, Ozodema. It's not because of uh, Soludo, who is answerable to, to Abuja, but in Biaf from Biafra land. No, it's not because of them. These are powerless individuals. These idiotic elements that I have mentioned their names are extremely powerless. They are just like me and you. The only reason why Biafra land is still on or is being referred as Nigeria today is because of the military and police in Biafra land run by the zoo run by the zoo because of the zoo Janjaweed military and police in Biafra land that is the only reason the sole reason why Biafra land today is still being referred as part of Nigeria not because of Tinubu, not because of Soluafufu, not because of Oti, not because of any government official from Biafra land serving their uh, uh, Abuja interest. No, not because of that. It is because of that man in Kake. It is because of those barracks. It is because of those police stations. It is because of those patrol vehicles you see patrolling all over the street of Biafra. That is the reason why Biafra land is still being referred as part of the zoo today. When you get rid of them, they will call you for negotiation to know where you want your border start from. 
this is fact go and check history of every country that have fought for their freedom this is the fight this is how it is being done you must get rid of them and when their boss in abuja is commanding them to send more troops they say no i'm not going because they haven't given them the account the account of those that that they sent before them this is how it works to be honest with you this is how it works when they are being commanded by their boss to go they say no because the ones that went they didn't return so why should you go and you can when you know you are not going to return again so are you telling me your life is not meaningful to you so your life is meaningless that you have to go to a place where you know that the people who went there before you did not return this is how you get freedom and that is what we are doing and we are going to do it to the maximum until the remaining forces say no we can't go again i am very very happy recording this very news in fact now let's see they said a resident in the community who do not want to reveal his identity for security said that he saw the security agent a few minutes before they were set ablaze he said that the community had been thrown into confusion owing the development our correspondent saw a video clip of the attack as the security agent set ablaze in the two vehicles when contacted the spokesperson for the police in the state Henry Okoye confirmed the development but asked for time to get the full details of the horrible incident. More details shortly. <laughs> More details shortly. Oh my goodness. So now let us see um, another Zoo Media and see how they are also reporting this same um, information. And as you can see on your screen, I will be reading from Politics Nigeria. This is one of the Zoo Janjawe Daughter Media Outlets. And their title said, Breaking eight soldiers policemen burnt to death in Imo state look at the date september 19 they are still using or taking the same title from punch newspaper telling you eight they are 15 in number about seven soldiers four police officers two dss officers and two defense cops which they called uh, something nscdc or something like that so now let us read their report they said here about eight soldiers, policemen, and Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps (NSCDC) have been killed by gunmen in Imo State. The sad incident, which occurred on Tuesday morning in Umualumako Community, a Himen Bano local government area of Imo State, has thrown the area into panic. The Joint Task Force team, who were in two security trucks, were ambushed and set ablaze by their attackers. None of them survived as they were burned inside their operational vehicles. Or can see at the bar. Or can see at the bar. That October. A security who spoke on the condition of anonymity said that reinforcement teams had been sent to the scene of the crime with the intent to arrest the suspect and rescue the corpses of the slain security operatives. A resident in the community who do not want to reveal his identity for security said that he saw the security agent a few minutes before they were set ablaze. He said that the community had been thrown into confusion owing to the development. Imo State Police spokesperson Henry Okoye confirmed the development but asked for time to get the full details of the horrible incident. So Biafrans, there is no need to continue reading or analyzing this. Since they are saying the same thing with Punch newspaper, there is no need to continue. I've already told you what happened, how many officers that were sent to judgment, where it happened in Imbano. So it is confirmed. This will not be propaganda. It's confirmed. So I want every one of you to enjoy the news. Thank you. I'll be here. Me, eh? My belly don't they sweet me. Oh, it's sweet me, sweet my belly. Eh, eh. Then go die again. If they know they hear what, all of them go finish like they say, Pam. Then go finish. Now God go finish them. Because now so he finish Egypt too. You know, say when they, they when he been they tell Egypt, leave my people, let them go. They say who be God? Who be Biafra safe? They no go go. Ah, 
anyone where they give a AK forty, he go say, let me go and flex it in that Biafra land and kill them. You know, you know they see them for video when they, they happy said they give them gun. They are running down to the east to go and kill. Table don't turn. About turn people where they front, they don't they back. People where they back, they don't they front. Now so life will be. This news, because where will they bring them? Now for people where still their life, where still their police, where still their army. <laughs> What's come to what? Say you be able and you their army, you their police. Shame on you. The day you go die, the day it go be your turn. Chai. <laughs>